What's good YouTube? My name is Alex and we are True to Football and True to You. Today I'm gonna bring you my 2013 NFL season week 4 preview video. Last week I went 9 and 7. Looked like a good week but you know again the close games turn on bad on me. All the games I picked right you know were games teams won by 20 points. I mean I even predicted the upsets right Ravens win against Texans and Pandas win against Giants. But I lose with like Chargers, losing within the last 5 seconds against the Titans, Jets win another game, Browns win without any talent on their team against the Vikings. I mean in the end you just gotta live with that. Things like that happen every week, it's almost impossible to get a perfect week because you just rarely can predict every upset. I, might, I mean my goal is really still that perfect 16-0 record I never had. Um, I think I had 15-1 and but never 6-0, I really want to get that. Maybe this week, let's look at this week. Uh, let's start with 49ers at Rams. Can the 49ers lose 3 in a row? I don't think so. Um, the Rams played against the Cowboys last week. It was tough on the road. But, um, you know, they couldn't stop Murray. I mean, Murray has obviously a great history against the Rams, but I expect the Rams to be better this season. The loss of Steven Jackson hurts them so much more than I expected, really. And uh, the 49ers, even without Willis and Smith, I believe, they still got the defense and obviously the talent on offense to just grind the ball, in my opinion, on the Rams. They can run it on the Rams and they can get some explosive plays. In my opinion, the Rams just don't have the talent at wide receiver or running back or just in general on the offense uh, and also don't have the age to be a successful and consistent team like you can make it to the playoffs with. Um, and again, I, in this game I obviously going with the 49ers. Ravens at Bills. I said the Ravens going to win last week. They're a good ball club. People are underrating the Ravens and this week I especially look at the matchup on the line. I think they're the team that can pressure the Bills. I think I think they can, you know, shake up EJ Manuel and, you know, just create their game plan. You know, they can make the Bills run their way. I think they just simply can control this entire game. Even more if Ray Rice comes back, they control can control this game on the offense, can control the clock and so on. Bernard Pierre is not a bad guy. I mean, I like this guy coming out of Temple. I, I, I rated him high um, for the draft. So, I think the Ravens just have two more talent, people are underrating them, they get another victory, 3-1 and one for the Ravens. Bengals at Browns, um, yeah, I, I like the Bengals and I just can't go with the Browns because I believe they have no talent. I, I, I don't think another field goal fake will work this week, I mean that's basically because they won, they, they got 7 points out of it, without these 7 points they wouldn't have won against the Vikings. The Bengals are a way better team than the Vikings, Bengals get that running game going and the Browns only have a good defense, that's it. In my opinion, the Bengals can overcome or just really beat the tough defense. AJ Green against the uh, cornerback Joe Hayden. That's definitely the matchup to watch this week. And I think AJ Green can beat Joe Hayden. So, overall, I, I think that's an easy game to pick. You gotta go with the Bengals here. Bears at Lions. It's a very interesting game. Can the Lions make it 3 1 for both teams or can the Bears pull away with 4 0? Four straight victories to start the season. I believe the Bears can pull away. They got just a great offense. Even though Reggie Bush might come back this week, you gotta look at the Bears like they have a running game, which is very underrated. I, I don't know why people are sleeping on Matt Forte. That that's just that's just crazy. And the Bears, in my opinion, have the best, you know, best secondary. They have definitely the best cornerbacks. I, I like them more than the Seattle cornerbacks. And you know, they definitely can match up with with uh, Calvin Johnson and you know uh, they lost the uh, other wide receiver to the broken arms so I don't know if they will sign somebody I heard they won't sign Josh Gordon from the Browns so they're going with Ryan Bryce who's a good wide receiver but you know you will see some struggles there you you will see um, you know just Megatron probably going to be taken out of the game maybe I believe the Bears are able to do so they can really slow down this Lions offense in my opinion the Bears should win this game Seahawks at Texans Seahawks are just better. The, the Texans, in my opinion, are struggling. This year ain't going to be a good year for the Texans, in my opinion. I, I predicted that from week one. Matt Sharp is struggling. They they don't have the rhythm at running backs. You know, there, there's some, you know, some anger at running back Foster, Foster and Tate. I'm sorry, and they just don't get their offense going. No matter how great this defense can be, they just don't get their offense going this year. And the Seahawks, they look pretty damn impressive, even though it's on the road at Houston. I believe the Seahawks are just too talented overall. It's that easy to go against the Seahawks. Colts at Jaguars. Jaguars are the worst team in the NFL right now. Mm, 
they don't they don't get anything going obviously last week I said just simply go with the ZX there's no reason you, you can't even argue for the Jaguars this week you can argue um, if they uh, find that weak spot of the Colts defense we've seen weeks before from the Colts maybe they can find it with Maurice Jones who just pound the ball at them but the O-line got a block I mean that Oland isn't doing well. Maurice Jones is getting any help. He he also doesn't look as good as he's looked the years before, but you just can't blame him alone. I mean he has been the offense all alone before. It's obvious he can't be that every year. And it's just don't working for the Jaguars right now. You gotta go with the Colts here. They have Andrew Luck, probably the best young quarterback right now. So you gotta go with the Colts. Next we got the Giants at the Chiefs. Probably the most interesting game to watch this week. Will the Giants start 0-4 or will the Chiefs start 4-0? I mean the record speaks for itself, but I don't pick the Chiefs because of the record. I pick the Chiefs because they are really great this year. Um, Alex Smith obviously gives them a lot. He's a good quarterback. Even though they play that short passing game, you, you should be able to game plan against. And that's what I'm interest, just interested to see in. The Giants are a team you can game plan against, but you should also be able to game plan against the Chiefs, in my opinion. Um, you know, they almost lost against the Cowboys, but, you know, they got the turnovers. You can get some turnovers against the Giants, and that's probably the problem why I'm going with the Chiefs. One, you can game plan against them, and you will get the turnovers. The Giants are not taking care of the ball, in my opinion, and also they don't have that one, two punch in the backfield like they had before with Bradshaw and Jacobs. That's that's really what they are missing. I mean, the Giants are just too predictable in my opinion. You can game plan against them, you get turnovers. That's just the problem with the Giants right now. It's about the coaches maybe going to fix that, bring in some new players. They gotta change something. And you know, I think the Chiefs are just a little bit too good right now uh, to lose. So I predict this to be a very close game, but the Chiefs should win. Vikings at home against the Steelers, two 0 and 3 teams. Um, Vikings have more talent in my opinion. Steelers have the explosiveness. They can score some points and I can see this game go the other way. But I'm picking the Vikings basically just simply because of Adrian Peters. And I believe they finally get that second straight home game and now they win. If they don't win I probably will never go again with the Vikings this year. I mean, I think I went with them three times this year or two times. They let me down pretty much every week. Um, I don't know why. Maybe the Vikings are just trash, I don't know, but the Steelers are really trash. They have injured guys, they don't have a running game, and you really only have the explosive plays. They are hoping for these explosive plays, but, but you can't rely on them. Their defense ain't that great as it been before. You gotta go with the Vikings. They are just a little bit the favorite in this game. Cardinals at Buccaneers. I'm going with the Cardinals. They are an underrated ball club in my opinion. The Buccaneers are just trash. They have trash coaching. You know, they they ask Rivers to play zone. They you know, they don't know what they're gonna be on offense. Now they start Glennon. I mean, Freeman has the talents, but he's just hell of inconsistent. You just don't know what to say about the Buccaneers. I believe it's on their coach. I don't think they will ever get it going. They have so much talent, like the Cowboys the years before, where they always messed up. <laughs> I, I talk about the Buccaneers a little bit, like I talk about the Cowboys the years before. They just don't find a way. That's that's embarrassing for the Buccaneers. The Cardinals definitely should win this one um, and start 2-2 two and two into their season, first quarter of the season. Jets at Titans. You know, I'm showing the Jets some respect right now, but the Titans, I'm also showing some respect. Two very same teams and should be a very close game in my opinion, but the Titans have that running back Chris Johnson who I think will have a big game and that's that's just a feeling I mean he, he does match up well against the Jets I believe the Jets will give up too many yards on the ground against Chris Johnson CJ2K to win this week against the Titans I believe the Titans will get this home victory should be a close one but I just go with them because of the matchup in the running game against the run defense Eagles against Broncos Broncos at home can this be an upset? Nah man I don't think so. The, the Broncos are just too good. When they're going to lose their first game? Tough to say. Eagles, Eagles are better than the record shows. They should be, you know, two and one maybe, at least two and two next week. But this week, don't pick against Peyton right now. Don't do it. Next, are Washington at Oakland. And yes, I believe the Redskins will win their first game of the season. Matt Flynn is starting for the Raiders. Um, 
Why is this dude so fucking overrated? Yes, it's because of that one stupid game he had for Green Bay, record setting game in like week 16 where nothing mattered. I mean, it's just stupid. Everybody's overrating this dude. I mean, finally, finally someday they will see Matt Flynn is just trash. I mean, prior beat him for a starting job. It's obvious, Matt Flynn isn't that good. And on the other side, RG3 is getting more healthy. And they didn't play that bad over the last few weeks. Opponents just played better. The only thing the Redskins can lose this week, in my opinion, is if their defense messes it up big time, like giving up 200 yards on the ground against McFadden or just, you know, don't getting any turnovers, any stops. It's, it's all about the defense. Normally, they should win this game. Cowboys at Chargers. Don't sleep on the Rivers this year. No way. Chargers are much better this year, just as the Cowboys are. They, they look more consistent. Um, both teams should make it to the playoffs. Just a quick side note. Um, I go with the Cowboys here because overall I think they're just on every position, on every aspect, they're a little better. I mean, they have a better running game, first of all, a better O-line. It's always a little bit better. And if you look at the matchups, you don't see anything special that makes you go with the Chargers here. It's home advantage, and yes, they really lost in close, uh, lost only close games, but the Cowboys also lost a close game against the Chiefs, who are pretty good. So, I think it will be a very good game to watch, but at the end, I gotta go with the Cowboys here, because there are just no reasons to go with the Chargers. <laughs> it's, it may sound a little bit crazy, but, I mean, yeah, the Cowboys are really good right now, and as long as they're not messing it up with inconsistency or injuries or whatever, you gotta go with the Cowboys. Sunday Night Football, Patriots at Falcons, and folks, please don't trust the record. The Patriots are not a 3-0 team. The Falcons should be the team with the winning record, though it's about execution, and the Patriots executed. They found a way to win their games. The Falcons are, even though they have that injury very right, they're not playing well on offense, especially their own, and they're not executing on defense. They have so much talent, way more talented than last year, too, you know, you know they should be better. The Patriots, they're injured. Brady is crying for help out of there. But you see the experience of Brady and Belichick, you know, they find ways, to, you know, to win their ball games. The Falcons didn't so far, but I don't, I don't think see that happen this week. Falcons play at home primetime. When did the Falcons lose their last home game primetime? I, I don't remember that. I think the Falcons just simply will find a way this week. That's probably pure belief and also because, you know, the Falcons have more talent. And I don't think the Patriots will score enough points this week. The Falcons should put up a lot of points this week, in my opinion. Now, Monday Night Football 2, 3-0 teams. Dolphins and Saints. Who would have expected that at the beginning of the season? Nobody, I bet. And, you know, it's about the Dolphins' defense. Also about the Saints defense, because Saints defense has been trash last year. Now it's it's a good defense, obviously. Rob Ryan's scheme works for the Saints. That, that's good for the Saints. But I think the Saints will win, you know, because A, you know, they have that offense to beat the Dolphins. You know, the Dolphins played against teams that weren't so good on offense, you know. They were good, but, you know, they didn't have that complete offense. And, you know, Drew Brees is just elite quarterback. He will find ways. He's very experienced, like I, I talked about Tom Brady before, and you know, he, he's just that guy to make that offense run over the Dolphins defense, and I don't think the Dolphins defense with Ryan Tannehill, I don't trust this guy, is good enough to put up a lot of points against this better Saints defense now. I don't think the Saints will win this home game and start 4-0 into their season.